welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because today I'm filming something that everyone keeps asking about, probably in every single comment section of my videos. That is where I get my phone cases from. And I wanted to do like a phone case collection video because I'm obsessed with phone cases. It's a problem. It's a problem that all of my friends know. And actually I don't have that many in front of me because I've got rid of, rid of quite a few. I sold quite a few and got a new phone for my birthday or Christmas one of those and I had to get new phone cases which was obviously a joy for me but it meant that some of my collection had to go to a better home. The reason I didn't get around to filming this was because I'm a bad person. No it was because I wanted to film like a my phone case collection with like my bag collection or sunglass collection. I, was, I wasn't sure where I was going with my direction but you know what? I need to stop being a bad person and just get on with the video. So today it's just a phone case collection video. So if you're not interested in phone cases, I would click off this now, but I would probably uh, give it a little thumbs up first before you go. If you are interested, which I know that a lot of you are, and for that I'm really grateful because I can't think of anything better than talking about phone cases because I love The first phone case is the one that I have on my phone currently and is the one that most people were asking about. And it is this one. It's just like a nice red kind of square phone case with sort of crocodile skin, fake crocodile skin detail. Everyone wants to know where I got it from. So there is no one stop shop for all of these. And I will be leaving them all in the description box below. So don't you, don't you even worry. I find most of my phone cases on eBay. And actually the way that I found this one was I really, really wanted the Louis Vuitton like trunk phone case. It has like Louis Vuitton monogram all over it. it pretty much looks like this, uh, but with Louis Vuitton monogram on it. It's supposed to be like their kind of trunk luggage that they have, but in phone case format, but it was also a little bit more expensive than my actual phone. So I couldn't justify that purchase and I wouldn't do that. So I looked online for kind of trunk phone cases this one came up after a lot of searching so don't worry i will be leaving this in the description box down below because it did take a long time and yeah it was from china took like two weeks to come and i think it cost me like five pounds or something and the shipping was free so i'm a big fan of ebay for phone cases second phone case is one that's like my second favorite i also very often have this on my phone and is this one it's i know it's not chanel so i don't know if you guys are going to kill me because they're using the chanel monogram but to me, I'm not bothered. Chanel doesn't actually do this. You search fashion kills. So on eBay, they really struggle to be able to sell you something with Chanel on it because that's a fake. So people would get in trouble for selling something like this online. So I usually look up fashion kills, cigarette phone case, something like that. And I've had this phone case for every single one of my phones ever since I had a five, six, and then I have an eight now. Um, and so I've got this every single time just because I really love it. The quality is really, really good. This seems to stay on for a really, really long time. It's really also bouncy, like it bounces. So you never break your phone. So my phone is like this. It doesn't add too much. This one doesn't add too much to my phone. This one also pretty much is like the same sort of size as the phone. Doesn't really add too much. I don't like phone cases that are gonna make it absolutely massive. I say that, but I've got some that do. Pretty cool, I really enjoy that. I get a lot of compliments on my phone cases, so. Next one is actually a little bit of a copy. I don't see the problem with buying copy phone cases, really. Phone cases are like 40 pounds when they're real. I do have a couple of real designer phone cases. I just feel like they look exactly the same and they feel exactly the same, but they're just a fraction of the price. So this one is a Moschino. It says, this is not the Moschino toy. And it's not a mosquito toy because it is not. Um, but yeah, I got this one on eBay and I really think it's just the cutest little thing. Obviously, it does add a lot of size to your phone. <laughs> so if you're texting, it's quite big. I also find that I can't necessarily take good photos with this kind of one because it has so much going on around here. I'll sometimes find that I can see um, a little bit of a phone case when I'm taking a picture. So this one is one that isn't ideal for taking photos. These two, I can't see at all when I'm taking photos. It sits really nice in your hand, use the buttons with the case on which is also a little bit strange but you get used to it you can actually use it so two more that fit my current phone so the next one i actually bought the other day and i saw it when i was looking for this one and i chose this one over this one but then i kept thinking about this when i went to bed at night so i had to go back on ebay and find it again it gives me sort of gucci slash louis vuitton vibes the louis vuitton trunk case 
with a bit of Gucci going on. So again, a little bit of a coffee. It's pretty much exactly the same as this phone case. Doesn't add much size to a phone case, really comfortable good protection and also I can take pictures nicely with this. I just really love this. I love the pattern. I love the fact that it looks pretty expensive but obviously it wasn't. That is the end of the phone cases that fit my current phone. So now let's move on to some that fit my older phones and I've actually got rid of quite a few so these are just the ones I have left and the reason I'm including these is because I know that you can still find these online so I will try and leave those in the description box down below. You can find them for different sizes of phone like 5, 6, 7, 8, X. So yeah, these are not necessarily for my current eight, but they will be able to be found for the size of phone that you have. This was the, probably the last one that I bought. This is again a Moschino spray paint one. I actually really love all of those. Alex bought me a real Moschino like cigarette phone case one. It was really, really chunky. I actually sold that one on Depop because you can't sell these kind of ones on Depop, I don't think. I sold my real one on for like, 20 pounds or something because you can buy them for 49 from Selfridges or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of spray painty one. Really love this. I just thought it was really cute. It does actually fit my phone, but you wouldn't be able to take a photo with it. So again, I don't think it adds too much to the phone. It's not hugely, hugely chunky, but I just, I just love this kind of like normal everyday objects made into phone cases. For some reason, that's just hugely appealing to me. She just got this one at an event. I believe this is a company. I can't remember what they're called, but it was by Aruna Seth who does like little cute shoes with butterflies, like diamond butterflies on. And uh, that was the event that I went to and they gave me this, which was personalized. And I know that this company does uh, cute phone cases and you can get them personalized, which are quite nice. I do love a good personalized thing. So I used this for a while on my previous phone. So I will see if I can link them down below. I'm not actually sure from Aruna Seth. This is like Aruna Seth's logo situation. And the final one that I think was my six, it was the same size as my eight. So I think it was a six. This one, just a little kind of really flexible, I, I like, Swarovski looking thing. I actually bought this in a little shop on Portobello Road Market, but I know you can get these tons of places, especially online. It's just a little bit of sparkle, adds something to an outfit, really good for like when you're going out. So I just felt it was add something to a little bit of an outfit, because obviously you, you tend to be carrying your phone. So it makes a statement, add something to your outfit. If people don't have a nice phone case, I notice. I love, like if someone's taking a picture, a nice phone case, you're walking around, making a phone call. I just like a nice phone case. I have two, they're actually from my five, which my five is actually still in here because I actually couldn't even get it out. I was obsessed with this phone case. Now, people make these on eBay and they hand make them. Obviously it's got like a little Chanel in there. So you can get them without the Chanel or with the Chanel. I found somebody that was hand making them. It's pretty easy to do. You just buy one of these like clear phone cases and then stick loads of like diamonds and stuff all over it. But I just really liked the way that some people were doing them online. So I just decided to purchase this one. Actually, when I was at uni, so many people were like, I absolutely love that. So I ended up buying quite a few and giving them to my friends for presents. But yeah, this one I was obsessed with. I think it's so cool. I had a sparkly little number. The only problem with this is there's like pretty much no protection. And if anything, it encourages you to drop it. It's pretty heavy. I love this one, but it's more of a statement phone case. But the only problem with that is it wasn't particularly easy to take off, which is why my five is still currently in there. Another one for my five that I bought when I was actually in Shanghai, they had like this little market full of phone cases. And this says Prada on it. It's obviously not Prada. How fun. I just, that brought me so much pleasure to just carry my phone, phone around in this. Obviously I had to use it like this and it's just got little flowers on. I feel like it kind of does actually look like something that Prada might have. But I will try and see if I can leave these two in the description box down below because as I say, you can tend to get these in different sizes. So if they're still around, I'm sure you can get them through the size of your phone. Then the final thing that I wanted to mention was just an iPad case. I have an iPad mini. Don't even know where it is right now. I take that away sometimes with me just to watch stuff or edit pictures. I quite like editing pictures on a big iPad big, it's an iPad mini. It was just another excuse to keep buying cases. Currently I think it just has a normal like blue flappy opening case just because I can fold it and sit and watch TV on that. But I found this one which is obviously like the Moschino fries case but obviously in iPad version and I really really enjoy this. If I could find it in phone case, probably can. I would also like that too but I think iPads are just another excuse to find cool cases. That is the end of my phone case collection slash iPad case collection. Hope you guys like this video. I'm really sorry that it took me so long to film it. I just wanted to get everything together. I had better ideas, but I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna sit down and film it for you because everyone's been asking. And hopefully that has 
brought some light to the situation and I will leave all of the phone cases in the description box down below where I can. Hopefully they'll all be still be online. Please do give us a thumbs up if you did like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.